Hi, I'm Rick Green. I'm a writer, producer, actor, director, and a friend of Patrick McKenna. Actually, I'm his only friend. But So, I got diagnosed at age 47, and one of the big aha moments right away was, this is why I have written so much skit comedy, short sketches, and never finished a screenplay, or even really a half-hour sitcom. Then I learned about the hyperfocus, and I also realized that's probably why I've produced 700 episodes of radio and television, writing, acting, sometimes doing more. And I also eventually started to realize this is why I hate noisy parties or noisy restaurants or, or those uh, sports bars with, you know, I'm trying to talk to my kids and there's these screens with sports I didn't even care about, darts, but I'm like this. And so now uh, my ADHD strategy is when we go out with the kids, we go to Swiss Chalet. See, because it's quiet, it's old people. Hey, I'm old people. Uh, and I also remembered the one thing that is that this is why I hated the beach. I realized that the beach leads to overwhelm. This isn't just about managing focus. It's managing all of the input and the sand on the beach would get everywhere and drive me crazy. It's also why I have trouble with small talk because we're kind of short of certain chemicals that allow other people to pay attention and do boring things. And for me, small talk is painful. And yet, the flip side is when something's interesting, zoom, there's that hyper-focus. This is actually, then I realized, this is why I got higher marks at university in the difficult classes, quantum mechanics and relativity, because they were interesting, whereas the basic courses, chemistry 101, you know, I barely scraped by. There was no rush with it, which is why I can't stand horror movies, actually. That's another realization, because then it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming me uh, because I can't filter and it just, there are certain movies I wish I had never, Clockwork Orange was, you know, is another. Anyway, that's what I, I realized. Oh, and I realized that's why I get so many of my great ideas when I'm on the road because the movement wakes up the brain. Driving wakes up or even just being a passenger with someone who's not a good driver like Patrick as anyway. So that's it. It's also, you know what, another thing I realized is this is why I'm a better driver when the traffic is bad, because if it's just boring, regular traffic, my mind wanders. But, I mean, if we go to the go-kart track, I kill everybody. My son with ADHD, we just, not kill, but, you know, we're great. But we need my wife to get us there because both of us will kind of zone out and there'll be trouble. Anyway, that's, oh, and you know what else? It's why I'm calmer on stage in front of a thousand people than if I have to sit down and read the three-page contract to appear on stage in front of a thousand people. So anyway, and it's also why I talk so much. Now, I really mastered that, but in the past, I would go on and on and on and on and on and on.